Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and uh, here we are again. As you may have noticed, I run really, really fast. Uh, I put the sprint assist on my leggings so I can run really, really fast now. Made a chest for my uh, coal because it was getting bad. Now, it may look like I don't have a whole lot of iron, and you may be wondering, why the fuck does he have so many iron picks? Well, we're going to make block breakers. These are made from red power. Apparently, I forgot to do that. Hmm. I should have had enough to make six of... Oh, I do. Okay. I'm going to make pneumatic tubes. I'm going to need plenty of these, so... And I'm also going to need redstone tubes to make... Oh. Go here. Frames. That's probably... In, that's nowhere near as many frames as I'm going to need, but... Uh, to start things off, whoops, I need 25 of these right here. Boom, boom. Oh, boom, boom. Okay, there's 25 of those. And I'll get to why I need these here in just, just a minute or two. Uh, but actually, I'll start describing right now. I'm going to make a red power quarry. Now, if you don't know what the red power quarry is for, well, I'm not going to make it yet. I I did some stuff with Miscraft, and I need to cut this apart because I need to make a draw plate. I remember how to make it. Now we also need to cut apart an iron block to do such things. Uh, think? I hope it was strips. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to combine back together and figure it out. Well, that's interesting. Uh, apparently, it was not strips. Crap. This is the cool thing about this stuff. You screw up, put it back together. Doesn't matter. Nobody cares. And diamond droplet. And I might as well just make another one. I can convert these back to diamonds now if I so choose. But I need fine copper wire. There we go. That did a decent number on the uh, thing, but that'll be okay. Oh, I did extensive exploration in the Miscraft chest, or in the Miscraft stuff, um, because you can either A, go out in the world and trade with traders, uh, villagers, I mean, to get stuff, and that will allow you to make the worlds. Or if you can get a semi-stable world, you can actually find like the uh, the Thomcraft dungeons, which we haven't actually seen any here, and obelisks. And then there's special uh, Mistcraft buildings with books in them, but also have the pages, which I will show you pages. These are page. Now, you'll see I have an empty notebook, but I have these. These are my backup. Basically, I've cloned every single one of these. It's a page. I can take it out. But you build with them. Build. Uh, basically, you craft worlds. Quite literally. You need paper. I think I should have enough paper here at the moment. Now, I've made a bunch of notebooks. These are made from three leather each, as I showed previously. And it's because the descriptive books are much difficult to make. I can I have enough leather in here to make ten books at the moment, so... Or ten worlds. Now, I've got these separated in a way where I can get what I want with relative ease. And so, I'm going to try to make a world. One that's fairly flat. I don't have the actual flatland biome uh, modifier, so I can't make use of that. I lost track of the... There it is. What? Hello? Oh, there's my problem. Now, as you can see, I can't make more than one page at a time unless I put the notebook in here. At which point, then, then I can do what I was doing. So those are the biomes. I don't think I need these, but I'm going to put one in just in case. Uh, these aren't really too important. They're for modifying the overall world. Um, you can put it before this terrain generation, which unfortunately, I don't think I have any actual terrain generation affecting things, but I'm going to go standard lighting, normal sun, 
Um, oh, oh, oh God, I can take that out. Be okay. Uh, normal weather. I don't think I have no weather. And some of these are not exactly optimally combined, which is kind of a problem, sort of. You don't... Oh, I have some duplicates between some of these because... Well, I guess I'm retarded, but that's beside the point. Now, I don't really need any of the bonus things that you see in here because all they really do... Like, dense ores will add gratuitous amounts of instability. Like, the world will almost fall apart just from adding it. But if I don't put anything in, I should end up with basically solid terrain. But I am going to put in no seas. Because... Red power quarries and water do not cooperate with each other. Go away, thank you very much. Now, I don't know if this is going to generate a stable world. It may, it may not. Who knows? But, what I can do now is left click in there. It removes all the pages from the notebook and places them in here for use of making my book. But, I didn't finish building the things I was working on before. Now, I want to go back to this. I'm going to store the stuff that I've got here, but, uh... Ooh. Oh. I was like, what the hell? I did something wrong here. And I did do something wrong, but that's beside the point. There we go. So, I made... I forget what I made in this one, to be honest. But I made the uh, copper coils, which then you take copper coils and put them in here. Which, I'm just going to do it like this, for safety's sake. That'll make blue electric motors. Which, for some odd reason, I have considerably less than I should. Ah, crap. Let's do this again. Yeah, because I need... Ten... Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. Never mind. I really am retarded. There. Now, combine those together, and brass is just made in the uh, alloy furnace guy over here, which I have some blue out ingots. It's just uh, basically three copper and one tin gives you four... I think it was four... Uh, brass. I don't remember how many of these I used. I do know that I had apparently too many materials in that one. So here's the block breaker. Your block breaker. That's right there. This is the deployer. This will place a block as if a person used it. That'll be necessary for placing frames. And the reason why we have five of these or twenty-five of these, but twenty-six of these is basically whenever I want to retract the uh, the drilling head, it will. Uh, Basically, the short version is, I need the motors to bring it up, the block breaker will break it. Deployers will place them as I want to go down, and the frame motors will send it down. You need two for the actual moving of the head, and then the other eight will be for moving the frame around once I've built it. But, I'm not going to, and linking books don't sort well. Oh, what did it do to my poor thing here? But these, I didn't get all the wireless related stuff set up yet but what this should allow me to do is you know what I need to sort out this inventory real quick and I'm not going to be taking this stuff with me at just this moment anyhow so I will save it from myself first thing I want to do I don't know if I'm going to need that. As you can see, there is some gun-related stuff here. I don't know how effective these are, but I really want to build them to find out. So, I need one blaze rod. I have to get the rest of it. I ran out of project tables, and I didn't want to make more. That's what happened there. Uh, five iron. Let's just figure out how much iron I need. Eleven. Eighteen. Okay, I've got that. I 
think I need to make an empty magazine as well. There's just five more iron. God dang. One, two, three, four, five. I need some smooth stone. That should be enough for now. Some glass. That sh that'll definitely be enough. So the first thing I'm probably going to need is the empty magazine, which I get five of them when I craft it. Yes, I'm aware that iron is in the wrong spot. Why is that iron in there is a better question. Okay, so there's an empty magazine. So we'll start with the grip assembly, which is seven iron, one magazine, and a magma cream. I'm not sure why it's magma cream, but getting a hold of slime balls was much harder than it probably should have been. Okay, hammer assembly, which is six. Oh, I need a button. Button, button, who's got the button? Oh, I have all the stone on me. Okay, so there's a button there, there's a blazer rod there, there's a magma cream there, and then there's iron all around that. And we have a hammer assembly. And the barrel is six iron, a magma cream, and two ender barrels. All right. Now, it's all well and good, but we need to make it into a handgun, which is apparently five more iron and the slime ball. Oh, that worked out quite well. Although I think I placed those wrong. No, no, I didn't place those wrong at all. Although I'm going to place all these wrong, I'm sure. Now, the slime ball, I'm guessing, is to hold them together. But, that, you know, that's nice. It's a gun, but... Uh, can't fire it. Hard to fire without ammo. Which means that now we have to make bullets. Each one of these apparently holds eight bullets. And in order to make a bullet, you need... Well, you make four of them with two gunpowder, some iron nuggets... Iron? Gold nuggets. So we'll make some gold nuggets. We'll grab four gunpowder. What else do we need? Gonna need two iron and four stone. Luckily, I have some stone. I need iron though. Iron would help. This is a bit more of a hassle to make than I thought it was going to be. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. And iron. Apparently I made a mistake somewhere. Oh. That's where I made the mistake. There we go. Now combine those with an empty magazine. And you get ordinary bullets. I could make all these different kinds of bullets that are in here, but... I'm not too concerned at the moment. I thought I was going to make something else, but... Nothing else comes to mind. This very second. That made a nifty reload noise, and then apparently it has a durability bar to show me how many bullets. And I have pretty much just eight bullets right now, so I probably won't be using this much. Now what I do want to do is get majority of the super valuable stuff. It's not really super valuable, but the valuable stuff out of my inventory. Stupid linking books. Hmm. That's weird. When you load a magazine into your gun, it actually empties... Oh, because technically you craft it with an empty magazine, so you get a full magazine back. Or an empty mag... You know what I mean. Put those guys in there. Shouldn't need the ender pearls at the moment. Put you in there. And bring some cobble for good measure. Because why not? And always have two looking linking books. Because I feel as though you always need to have a secondary escape plan in case the first one, for some odd reason, falls apart. But I want to have something to put it on in the other world. So, you're going to go to age 16 and see if this place is bad. Now, it takes a second, 
and for some odd reason, it's a random island world. Uh, and you can see how I have hunger, weakness, blindness. That means that this world is extremely unstable. And to be honest, I'm not entirely sure why. Now, this guy's gonna disappear, because he's going to be laying on the ground in there and will slowly die. But this book, worthless to me. And there's nothing I can do about it now. And these are all the old ages. This linking book is to a spot in age 8, which is where I was getting all of the symbols at. Maybe we'll just take a dive over there real quick. Which, I made a linking book to the end, and there's one in the end to get back here real quick, although it doesn't really matter with that. So, I guess we'll take a quick look at AJ. This world is technically unstable. Now, this right here, this is a Thomcraft dungeon. There's a zombie spawner and a skeleton spawner in there. Although I'm not sure if I killed them in this one. Uh, there's the skeleton spawner and there's the zombie spawner. And there's a hole in the floor. Because my strategy for getting out of these buildings was mostly cut my way through the wall. Uh. Okay. But, anyhow, you can see there's pages in here. Why is there. Oh, because I already had those ones at the time. Go away. Just leave me alone. And basically, this world has meteor. You're outside, you're on fire. So, basically, I open up the big map like this, and I run. It's pretty much just that simple. Whenever I see... Whoa. It's loading a bit oddly. Like right there, you can see the obelisk, clear as day. Now, I could have made a full wisp spawner by now, but, uh... Yeah. Sometimes these contain good stuff, sometimes they contain bad stuff. What's that book? See, like, there's Protection 3, but I've gotten Fortune 3, I've gotten Infinity, and all kinds of other stuff. And I just, I literally did this for, I think it was three and a half hours this morning. So, yeah, um, I should probably show you some of the spoils of that. Now, you saw that I had all those symbols, which I have two books worth. Um, I don't know if they actually have a limit, but I didn't feel like combining them. However, you look in, not here. Well, there, there's some portal spawners in here. This is from the portal gun mod. And I filled up a zombie and skeleton shard by... Basically, if you right-click on a spawner, it destroys it and adds about 200 to it, roughly. And... All these chests. This chest right here has all the books I got. Sharpness 5, Sharpness 4, looting, looting, looting. Efficiency, looting, looting, power 5, infinity. Speaking of which... I don't figure this is going to work. That is not the anvil. But, oh, stop it. I want to see what happens if, yeah, I didn't figure as much. Can I put power 5 on it, though? I'm going to assume, I did it again. I'm going to assume you can't put anything on it. Yeah, you just can't. Um, I'm hoping that it's fairly strong to compensate. If it's not... It's a gun, whatever. But Silk Touch, Looting 3, Unbreaking 2, Thorns, Looting, Fortune, Fortune, Thorns, Looting, Fortune, Silk Touch, Efficiency, Efficiency, Unbreaking. So, yeah. Then, somewhere around here, I made, yeah, a whole new chest for things. I literally, there was, I probably left about five or six portal guns in, <laughs> chest still in there. And, well, what? Oh, it's because it's technically the orange one. Okay. I have this sorted by mod right now. Let's just fix that. See, if I click on the default portal gun, it takes a miniature black hole and a diamond. But this takes another star. And I haven't killed any. But I got a potato gun and a bacon gun. Potato Gun just has a uh, Potato GLaDOS if you played Portal 2 on it, and she just speaks to you at a random. And the Bacon Gun isn't really designed for single player, it's more for multiplayer to... Uh, gives you person personal portals, if that makes sense. But uh, there's the Sword of the Zephyr, 
which is a thumbcraft weapon, and the hoe growth is a thumbcraft tool. And then the rest of this is mostly just stuff I randomly had floating around. I'd also gained a lot of coppers, a bunch of iron, the portal frames, which I didn't even know you could get there, but it happened. So, anyhow, I have a couple things to know. Whoops. Ah, uh, here we go. Ender chests. I'm gonna need these on the thing. I don't. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do though, because I don't have a stable world, and that kind of puts a real kink in things. So I guess what I'm gonna have to do is just take a little bit of time to make. Uh... Well, I'm gonna make some wireless transmitters and receivers. Now you're probably wondering what I'm getting from cooking stone. And that'll give me stone wafers. And if I search wireless, you see down here, the wireless receiver takes a receiver dish, which I haven't made any obsidian sticks yet, but I have obsidian, so. I still have some stones, so that's not going to be an issue. I'm going to need a total of six of these, six of these, and then I'm going to make one of these for good measure, which this is simple enough. I can probably, I think I can actually make this right now. Oh, you get two of them. I thought you only got one. That's even better. Except for this is going to leave me with one extra obsidian stick in the end. Which could be a slight problem. Now, each one of these is only going to take three stone wafers, but I need six of each. So that's like a number. That's 36 of them. Uh, give me a project table. Oops. I need redstone. Technically, I only need 12. Actually, I don't... No, I'm going to need more than that. I'm not sure how many, though. need two stone wires there and two stone wire there. So four each. So I'm actually going to need a lot. <laughs> oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I need 24 of these. Okay. More stone wafers. Now, dun dun dun. I'm gonna need to make more of these bastards. I'm also going to need a button. This will make the wireless. Oh, that is not the blaze rod thing. I have the ability to set the frequencies and stuff on this so I can actively test it out in the world. But. For now, I'm going to need... Well, I need one for each of these. And since I need... One for each thingy. I have all the the general stuff I need. Oh, crap. I'm going to need more sticks. Yeah. So... My obsidian still in my inventory. Okay, this should be the end of the obsidian I need. I'm going to need six stone bowls though. That should hopefully, theoretically, be enough. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? I made just six stone bowls, so it'll be enough. And six, one, two. Nope, no, stop it. And six. So I'll be able to set up a wireless computer system to control it, but I'm still going to need a uh, chunk loader for it later on. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do about a lack of. I'm not sure what other symbols I need to make a full and complete world. Like a properly working Mistcraft world, which is a slight issue. And the way these things end up getting built, I'm going to need a... Well, basically I'm going to need a uh, flat, flattish area to work with. Kind of like the plains type area I'm living in right now. So... I kind of 
scares me on what I wanted to do. So, plan B. Figure out if I can use this in a building. Pull of water, two by two, surrounded by flowers, throw in a diamond. Ow, got electrocuted. Twilight portal. In we go. This place, it's got some unique blocks and stuff in it that I can bring back to the real world, but one of the biggest things about it, if it ever, it has to actually craft it, which is annoying. Craft it? Craft the world. Okay. It's got unique mobs and stuff, and i got plenty of power. Whoa. Oh. What the? What is... What is that? Oh, God. Okay. So... First things first. I want to go back to my portal that I've almost lost already. Close enough. This is the tower for one of the hardest bosses in here, so I couldn't have hoped for a better thing. Oh, oh, I seem to have killed the stairs. And I don't have a whole lot of torches, so I've now made the mistake of this being very dark. Hmm. Ooh, there's a chest up there. And I suppose I'll take those. Potion of weakness, I don't know why I'd want it. I really don't want that. Can it go up higher? No. Oh, there's another room over here. Is there... Oh, what? What? What happened here? Okay. Talk about bugged world generation. Uh, I think... Oh, uh, hey! Don't be a bunch of bastards. This one looks like it generated properly. Oh, um... Hello? I don't... Um, wait. Hello? No? Hmm. I guess there isn't a chest in all of them, which I guess is fair enough. Let's go go find the lich and see if it. Oops. Well, there's the hole in the stairs I made. Let's see if we can't just find the lich. Go away, zombie. Well, that's an interesting room. A hole in the floor there. Hmm. The lich should theoretically be at the top of the tower, though. Uh, you're a zombie spawner. I don't care about you. There's a lot of holes in the floor, and I'm not paying attention. But I am, however. What the? I'm being attacked by a book. Attacked by a book. Oh, paper. Did that book just cast fire at me. Die, please. Thank you. Hey, I was looking in that room. I don't think the skeleton and the book are getting along very well. Is it dropping paper every time I hit it? And that's the Twilight Lich. I don't know if I have to sit here and smack it until its shield breaks or what. Can't hurt the clones. Ow. Bastards. If you're wondering why I was backing up there, I really wanted those paintings. Die, would you? Oh, oh. Oh, two of the shields are gone. Ow. Bastard. Oh, it just created a hole to the outside. Oh, it created another hole to the outside. Mm -hmm. 
He's got one shield left. Die, you! Stop running! Oh, I didn't mention it, but I also put an efficiency 5 on my, uh, thing. I'll show you after this fight. Okay, I'm guessing I have to just ignore the zombies and kill the lich. Otherwise, he's just gonna keep spawning zombies. Okay, so... Oh, zombie scepter. Checked out protection leggings. Hmm. I thought he would drop something more unique. Well, that's kind of lame. Hmm. Whee! Express elevator. Really want to find a hollow hill, and they're not that hard to find. Whoa! <laughs> like, for example, that right there might be a hollow hill. Whoa! Oh god, a cicada! Get it away! I don't know where it is, but get it away! I don't think I'm on a hollow hill. I do think that map doesn't quite have support for some of these trees. I also think that I'm getting hungry. Oh, that's always a way out. At any point in time. I can go back to the overworld with a linking book. I wish the world would load faster. Who needs a jetpack when you can just sprint jump? Because apparently, with the leg enchant armor modification thingy, sprinting and jumping makes you go a very, very long distance very quickly. That looks like it might be a hollow hill. And there's really only one way to find out. Break on through to the other side. I think they're below me. Something this way. Nope, now it's this way. No, it's down. It's definitely down. Uh, I just realized there might be a serious flaw in this whole plan. I don't have any torches. Okay. Torches? Ooh, a diamond. No, I want the diamond. Grow off, zombie. And iron. Do I see another chest? What I'm really looking for is an uncrafting table. But if this is a hollow hill, it is quite possibly the one of the the most poorly designed hollow hills I've ever seen in my life. Ah! Very small spider. I'm not entirely sure if this is actually a hollow hill. I'm gonna be honest. It's hard to tell. It is extremely hard to tell. This is the worst hollow hill I've ever been in. I'm leaving. If I can. Okay. Let's hope during that endeavor, which I feel as though this is probably getting a little bit long, but I really want to find a half-decent hollow hill to show you what they look like. Oh, hi pigs. Oop. That's a hole in the ground. Which is not what I'm after. But yeah, efficiency 4. Which is a little bit overkill for something that's already set to, I think, 25 times mining speed. Alright, stop blocking my jump, damn trees. I've never had such a hard time finding hollow hills in my life, though.
Whoa. Of course, so when you're jumping out of the world, you. Can I kill you? No! They actually break it. Not going near it. That's a cicada. They're annoying. Very annoying. Uh. That looks kind of like a hollow hill. Let's approach it from a much more direct manner. Like right here. Am I below it? Is this not a hollow hill? Have they become increasingly rare or something? What's going on here? I'm punching through, I think, live root. Well, so much for hollow hill. Oh, no, this is just a really big ass hill. Hmm. Holy hell is this a big ass hill. But uh, hollow hills are generally fairly roundish. I've noticed. See, that one kind of looks like a hollow hill, but uh, it really wasn't. Let's get a bird's eye view. That's not working. I'm on. Yeah. That kind of looks like a hollow hill. Let's take uh, the secondary approach. Let's dig straight down and see what happens. I don't think this is a hollow hill, guys. Oh, hey, yes it is. This is the inside of a hollow hill. These places, as you can see, oh, there's actually some diamonds up there, too. They're very hard to actually get safe. The general strategy involves around running around in circles till I complete laps and then get the thing mostly lit up. Go away. But I don't really have any torches. Oh, God. So if this is a bit dark, I apologize. Where's all the chests? There should be more chests. I was looking to see what that spawner was, and I'm not interested. It's these things. That's a zombie. There's a chest over there. Annoying spiders! They're not the most annoying mob you can find in these things for sure, though. Do I see a spawner? Uh, clay pot, ore magnets. I've never managed to get any kind of decent use out of an ore magnet. They're kind of strange at times. And I think they can only pull ore up, which is kind of useless in, uh, well, this situation. I thought there was a third chest. Um, wait, what? How long has this guy been here? More ore magnets. Yes, it's pretty bad that I pretty much just ignore creepers because of how ridiculously overpowered this armor can be. Yes, I realize I'm taking damage, but that's because I haven't eaten. Is in comparison to the quantum armor and what it can do for you, I consider this to be balanced. What? What? What's he? Writing! Whoa. What the? How did I... What? Oh, great. I'm not entirely sure where I died at either. I think it was this way. I'm not entirely sure how I died, though. I do know that... If I can't retrieve my stuff, that is a lot of fucking iron. 
Ow. I don't have shock absorbers. I don't think I'm going the right way. And come to think of it, yeah, I I, I consider this a lost cause at the moment. You do not want to go in there without armor, but how did I die? I'm going to have to watch that one back. Because I thought I was at full health, but I guess not. Meh. Shit happens. I'm not too concerned about it, to be honest. Because I'm at the point where I can pretty much build my red power quarry. Oh, and I think it was actually the other way. Over yonder. Because that's descriptive. I don't know. But uh, I think that's a good enough note to end this on. And that stuff will stay there for ever, and I'll have a chance to come back and get it later. But, uh, for now, I'm gonna call this good. So fucking Enderman. I am so sick of Enderman. A lot of lighting glitches that are allowing things to spawn. I think it's actually because of Optifine, but I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to call this good for now. I don't think I have any more food. But I can make some. And, uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.